Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what coroutines are and how to use them inside of Unity scripting. So I'm going to get started by showing you my main title screen and pointing out the coroutine that's executing there. So let's go ahead and play it. It's going to be this title text that's showing up there. And what happens is, over the course of 0.6 seconds, um, it plays each character, and then it does a yield return. Uh, where until 0.1 seconds have occurred, it's going to carry on doing everything else in Unity, and it's going to wait to come back to this script until it loops around. So, um, basically, this little script, the one character at a time text UI script, the events that are going on here don't need to finish executing. The rest of Unity can go ahead and carry on about its regular processes without waiting that 0.6 seconds and freezing the game up um, by making literally everything wait for it. Uh, so if we go into script, you'll see it's not too complicated to start a coroutine. So this print text method, you'll notice it returns an I enumerator. Any uh, method that you're going to be running inside of a coroutine needs to be an I enumerator. And uh, part of those I enumerator methods is that it's going to have a yield statement inside of it. And those yield statements uh, basically allow it to return control to the rest of Unity until some event occurs. Uh, for instance, a wait for seconds uh, means that until 0.1 seconds occurs, it's not going to come back and play around in the script anymore. It's going to let everything else in Unity execute. And then, when that's occurred, it'll allow things to come back into print text. So this is waiting 0.1 seconds. So um, unless 0.1 seconds have occurred, it's not going to continue with this for loop. Which means um, everything else in Unity is going on in the background. And it's holding this as something that needs to be executed but it's not playing it out until the wait for seconds is complete. So it's yielding until the wait for seconds is finished. And then it'll come back in here in this for loop and keep printing the text out. Now, beyond having a yield statement of some kind, which could even be a yield return null if you really wanted, but I think that would defeat the purpose of a coroutine if you don't have any kind of uh, wait for seconds type method. And uh, you can look up the different kinds of things you can use with a yield return statement here. But your, uh, your method that you're going to be calling inside of the coroutine has to be I enumerator. And then in order to start the coroutine, or to start that method inside of a coroutine, you need to call start coroutine, and you can do that at any point in time. It could be in your start method, it could be in your uh, custom methods, like you have display one uh, at a time. And you just call the method with any arguments it needs. And that's going to get you started on your coroutine. So I think wait for seconds is probably a really good uh, first example you can play around with. So that's what I'd recommend um, for your first coroutine. Just try making an I enumerator method. And at some point, under certain conditions, yield return, wait for a few seconds. And uh, just start your coroutine with start coroutine and the name of the method. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for getting started with coroutines inside of Unity. So I hope that's a pretty good practical overview of coroutines, what they can do for you, and how to make them work inside of Unity. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my future content.